This object Cornell University's engineering department is cooking up is trying to make its way to the moon and hopefully back. For us, if we are able to go around the moon first, if we are able to achieve an orbit around the moon, uh, we could win close to a million dollars. So the race is on. Mechanical engineer professor and former NASA employee Mason Peck and his students are in NASA's Cube Quest Challenge, and they're up against four other teams. The goal is to create a spacecraft capable of surviving takeoff from a NASA rocket and being able to last without being destroyed while circulating the moon. So the team is constantly working on their design. We prepared our design and our, our early prototype that you've seen already for the first ground tournament, which is the first design review of this project, essentially where NASA kind of checks up on us and sees how our design is progressing. The team says their spacecraft is unlike any other in the competition. It doesn't need fuel to get moving, just lots of H2O. Uh, we start with water, we launch water, which is completely safe, it's non-toxic, good for students to use. Uh, and then when it finally is in space, sunlight separates that into hydrogen and oxygen molecules. We burn that hydrogen and oxygen combination and that becomes rocket fuel. And what you see here is something Emily Camera has been working on. It's to test the spacecraft in a mock space environment. So I run the test for the propulsion. I like, we kind of take apart everything that we're doing and analyze what's going on, get like, get our data, like interpret what we're getting and see if it's matching what we need to be reaching. Aisha McKenzie, WENY News.